Right, good afternoon. Here we go with this lovely colour. Uh, card 245. Yeah, black duck till Bondi blue, mint grey and French rose. Now, I have found the fabrics, which I, I was absolutely amazed at. So for the black, I've got this sort of leopard printy stuff here. And then I've got this fabric, I think Connie sent me this yonks ago. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got the, it's got the minty grey, it's got the Bondi blue, the dark teal is in here. It was just like, it just meant to be. And then I've just literally made a bag with this um, fabric on the background here. And it's French rose. I was absolutely amazed at that. So the fabrics were quite easy this time. Um, yeah, and I thought I'd just put on some buttons just for, you know, a little bit extra. Um, and then I found this it's kind of French rosy little button, pinky one. So that will be the fabric side of it. As I say, it was just sheer luck. Let me show you the fabric. Um, it's one of those compilation type fabrics. One of these type. And um, yeah, so there's the flowers. So yeah, great. You get fabrics like that and it's like, yes, it makes your life really easy. I could have done the Eiffel Tower actually, but it's fine. That is enough. Um, yeah, it's not an easy palette, this one, unfortunately. I'm not looking forward to trying to do the paints either. So, um, yeah, so we'll do the messy part first. But that's my fabrics. I'm quite happy with that. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to stitch it all by hand, so I'm going to bore you to death. Now, for this one, I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to draw one of my bugs. So, um, yeah, I'm going to decorate him, basically, or her, whatever. Um, yeah, I've got to mix these colours first, so I'm really going to struggle, I think. So, Anywho, I hope you're all well. I've had a busy day. <sighs> my landlady messaged me, and she said, I'm coming over to do the garden. I was like, oh, flip it, egg. <laughs> Right, okay. I mean, bless her heart, at least she does, you know, she does bother. So uh, we've been out there, because at the side of my, where I live, we've got these um, enormous uh, forest ferns, you know, the big, I can't remember what their official name is. Anyway, the big ferns. And in the winter, of course, they all just sort of flop over and want to die back. And um, I think I've got a thorn stuck in my finger somewhere. It's itching like mad. Anywho, um, yeah, so we've been doing that. Now, I've got a turquoise blue for the dark teal. I'm thinking maybe just a tad of black in that. It's quite dark. It's going to rain, so I'm sorry, the lighting. Although it always looks good on the camera. It's, it's black as anything sat here, although I pulled the blind up. But anyway, right, stop yabbering. Right, so I've got this. Um, this is from the range, and it's called turquoise blue. But see, that to me is not turquoise blue. It's a dark teal. So I'm just wondering about a tiny bit of black in that. Whether that'll make a difference. It's good fun, this, isn't it? I, I don't know, you know, if anybody else enjoys the colour mixing quite like I do. I seem to, I seem to really enjoy this part. I'm trying to make these um, colours that you just normally wouldn't mess around with. But I thought they were good bug colours. I don't know why. <laughs> I just did, okay? Oh, yeah. That'll do. Right, now this Bondi blue. <sighs> I've got cerulean blue hue. And I'm thinking that, maybe with a bit of green in it, strangely. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Right, hang on. Let me clear this one off first. Yeah, so we've been out there doing that all... Um, all morning so got a nice clean hedge row hedge row now so that's all good it's just tidied it up for the winter really because it does look incredibly scraggly otherwise so right so bondi so that i don't know why but i feel it might need a little tiny bit of green That's how you make duck egg blue, believe it or not, with a bit of green. Oop. Try not to mix too much paint, although I am doing my inches. 
and then then what maybe a, another tiny tidge I know it looks like a ridiculous amount of paint but it's enough two greens so maybe a little bit more of that in there so it is like a green so I'm going to tip it up because I've got the what little light there is coming through right can you just stay there thank you what little light there is coming through the window it's a bit too bright on there right, I think we're there Yep, yeah, right, that'll do. Right, Bondi Blue, you will do. And then this elusive mint grey. <laughs> I don't know where that colour comes from. It's just a very pale blue as far as I'm concerned. So let's try, let's try putting a little bit of white in that one there. Again, weirdly, not even that much. Maybe a little bit more. I remember watching somebody mix um, duck egg blue once and they were putting green in it and I was like, it's blue, but actually, boom, it made duck egg green, uh, duck egg blue rather. So yeah, that'll do. Now, oh, gold. Um, I'm so glad she made these coated. <laughs> now the rose, mm, I think we're gonna, it's gonna be interesting this one. I've got this cheapo from hobby craft let's see what we can do are you even open you might not be i don't think you are that's when i thought i needed no i'm not you're not i thought i needed to get some more pink in my life and there you go this is how much i needed this paint So that might not be. Oh. Are we gonna come out? Ooh, weirdness. <laughs> Hang on. What the heck? Right, come on, just run a little bit. Don't run a lot. Oh, it's gonna go everywhere. Yeah, here we go. Oh, do you know what? That might not be far off. Um, what do you need? It needs to be. I wonder if the teeny tiniest.
absolutely nowhere near that, is it? Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to faff around and see if I can get it. I will be back and I'll let you know what the recipe is. Right, got there eventually. It was this um, fuchsia, I think it was called, this one. Yeah, fuchsia with a tiny bit of orange, believe it or not. And we now have a French rose. I'm now going to paint my bug. <laughs> I'm going to put you on fast forward so you haven't got the pain of watching, um, you know, slow motion. I'm going to move you down a tad, hold tight. I need to get my other board back on here. It's very dark, this black, isn't it? Right, I'm going to paint the bug. And, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. I'm going to do the background and I'll pause you and come back and show you the rest of it. Right, I just watered down some of that um, pale blue there to do the background. So I'm going to put them on the windowsill to dry. I'm just going to quickly do some inches, bear with me. Because the ones that I did the other day, I've done that with them. I used a silver pen. I haven't used a silver pen for a very long time, so that was quite good fun. So... I'll just quickly do three of those, I'll do. Don't need many. Oh, just put my finger in the paint. I think we'll have a... What was it called? French rose one. Because that's pretty. And... Some of that nice dark blue, I think. Yeah, that's good. 
it's to the back out of the way Ugh. right let me clean my hands and we'll do some stitching nice a little bit cleaner so um i managed to find some matching threads so obviously black is black i found this dark teal now it says 924 but i don't know whether it's an anchor or um dmc um i could not find anything that would match bondi blue this is my hand dyed stuff i'm going to go with that for the mint gray i'll just pick out a bit i'm just I'm, i don't know what i don't know what i'm going to do really and then the french rose i did manage to find this one and it's one of those cheapy prism ones it's not anchor or dmc but um unfortunately i've lost the color band off of it so i don't know what it is as in what colour. Anyway, right, I'm going to sit and stitch. Probably nothing super amazingly wonderful, but I'm thinking, because what I did was I the, the French rose is completely on the back there. I just thought this sort of, you know, patchworky type thing would be all right. So what I might do is just do some very simple straight stitches. Maybe a bit something in there. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I didn't get any pins. Oh, I've got pins right beside me. That's handy, Harry. Let's just quickly. Oh, I didn't. Um, I should heat bond it first. Um, let me do. Um, okay. So if I'm going to do that, I need to chop that back a bit. Then, sorry. <laughs> I'll talk away to myself. Hopefully, I make sense at the end of it all. You never know. Right, that's the sticky side. I won't have to pin then. That's all I'm thinking. I'm cheating. Masslessly cheating. Right, you stay there. You go there. You can go there. But first of all, you need to go on there. And that one there. Right, let me heat bomb that and I'll come back to you in a second. That's not going to stick anyway, but yeah. Right, sorry, two seconds. Right, that's all heat bonded. <clears throat> I'll tidy up the edges when I'm finished stitching. So, um, I feel like I want to do something a bit more exciting. Let me... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do run and stitch along here, I think. Right, I'll um, I'll speed you up at points, okay?
Okay, I think that'll do for the stitching. I was going to sort of go around there, but I thought, do you know what? That'll do, actually. That'll do. So we did pistol stitch, bit of chain stitch, just simple run-in stitch there and there. And obviously stitched on some buttons. So, yeah, quite like that. Sorry. Did I hope I stayed in shock for yeah. that? For that. Oh, I can't speak English today. Right. Okay, so hopefully we've given that beetle enough time to dry. Just clear all this out of the way. Right, cool. Where to put you? There you are. Right. The crow. It's a bit wet. Let me just hit this with a heat gun because um, I'm messing up my um, pens by keep using them on top of acrylic paint so that's wet. I'm looking everywhere for my tile and I can't find it. Right, let me, oh, let me just grab my board back again. I don't know why I took this off. I think it's because it keeps reflecting the camera and it looks a bit weird. <laughs> right, let me just hit this with a heat gun. Those out of the way else are all flying. Um, yeah, I'll pause you for this bit. Right, that was quite wet actually. It was quite deceivingly wet, so that's why it's been messing up my pens. Right, I'm going to go around and do some twiddly things and um, yeah, come back and we'll mount it in the book. So, again, I will fast forward you. Let's see if we can make him look a little bit nicer. Right, I think that'll do. No idea where the design for this bug came from. It just came to me like they do. And I quite like him. I'm actually pleased with my bit of artwork this time. <laughs> and they all keep giving me a hard time about it, but I'm so... I don't know what the word is. Unsure of myself, I suppose, is the word. I don't know. Really doesn't matter, Susan. All right. Okay. Um, shall I stitch around the edge of my fabric bit? I think I ought to, just for the sake of continuity. Uh, let me come back to you in a second once I've stitched around that. It does make a difference, so it's worth doing. Seems a bit of a faff, but. Right, you're quite low. Let me lift you up again. I don't want to keep making the camera go fuzzy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my camera arm. Right, stay still. Okay. Whole new page. Right. So that was the fabric side so we need to stick that there and that there and that way okay uh pen so that was card two four five oh, let's stick those on first. stop getting ahead of yourself 
<laughs> Keep telling myself off all the time. Oh, see, now we've come to the end. Oh, blimey. Um, I think I've got some more. Yeah, it was a very uninspiring palette, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying that actually, because I mean it really doesn't matter what the blooming colours are. I mean it's just what it is, isn't it? Can I see you through there? About there. Can't actually see the top. Am I straight? I'll do. Um, yeah. It's just a case of making the best of what you got, really, isn't it? So. If you can't get the colours, don't worry about it. Just do what you can. Just keep one a bit bendy. Let's stick a bit on the bottom as well. Ah, there we are. Can you even see that? No, probably not. Right, so. Definitely got the rose pink. I was just looking at it and thinking, oh, I didn't get the... Um, the mint grey on there but that background I'm going to say that's the mint grey <laughs> and the Bondi blue then the dark teal and then obviously the black for the legs and stuff so and same with the fabrics yeah I'm quite happy that I've got all of that in there I'll keep that out for a thumbnail so that was card 245 Black, dark teal, Bondi blue, oh, dye blue, mint grey, and French red. how we write grey or is it an EY? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's on there now. Right. Okay. So yeah, I need to keep that out. Right. Okay, dokey. Let's get our next number. <laughs> Pray to the gods. Oh, oh my lordy. Right. random.org so it's still stuck on four and two fifty let me lift it up so you can see yeah that was the um last one so let's generate our next one number 92 got your fingers crossed oh, oh 91 oh looks zesty Oh, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's nicer. So we've got mulberry, crimson, orange, gold, and kale. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I like those. I bet it's going to be a nightmare to find fabrics for it. But we will see what we can do. So, oh, I'll tell you what I didn't do. W245. Um, I need something. <laughs> 245, you'll do. 245. What's that one? 92. That's what I'm going to forget otherwise. 92. Cool. So that's it for next week. Uh, for uh, for Tuesday that'll be, won't it? Yeah, because that's Fridays. So yeah, interesting. So pomegranates, <clears throat> pink um, <sighs> grapefruit. It could be oranges or grapefruit there, but yeah, pretty. Hmm. See you next time. Bye.